Hi, I'm Robert. Welcome back to another on the road video brought to you by Appliancevideo.com. Stop. Before you begin any repair, unplug the appliance from the wall outlet. It is also recommended that you check for proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the gas. To complete this repair, you will need a quarter inch nut driver. Today we're working on an Amana gas dryer. Customer's complaint is that she presses the start button and it does not come on, does not make any noise. We've determined that the start switch is bad. So we're gonna replace it. To access this component, you must first remove the rear control cover. Now that we have access to the rear of the unit, let's remove the control cover. We'll remove the two top quarter inch screws and the one on either side on the bottom. And we'll set those aside. And then we will pull the panel out a little bit. Be careful, the edges are sharp and we will remove the final screw on the bottom towards the center. And the panel is removed, we'll set that aside. Now with the panel removed, we have clear access to the start switch. We're going to begin by pulling the wire terminals off of the start switch and letting them rest on the back of the dryer. We're going to pull forward on this tab and rotate the switch. Now, while the switch is hanging loose, we're going to cup our hand over the button in the front of the panel or knob, and we're going to pull the switch off of the knob. And we'll set the knob down on our protective surface and put the start switch aside. Now that we have a new start switch, Let's install it. What we wanna do is take our push to start knob and set that right in front of the hole for the stem of the switch and then line the stem of the switch, the flat on it with the flat of the knob and insert into the knob Now, we're going to rotate the switch around and push the square part of it into the console cover and then rotate it until it locks. And then we'll push on the knob to fully seat it and reconnect our wire terminals. and the start switch is installed. We can now reinstall the control cover. When installing the rear panel or control panel, you wanna line the notches with the on the panel with the tabs molded into the console assembly and then line up your screw holes and get a couple of screws started by hand. and hold the panel in place for you. And then finish them off with your driver. And your panel is installed and that completes the repair. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.